so it's my first vlog since vlogmas we are on our way to edinburgh doug and i went to edinburgh last year in september so september 2015 uh, we had a little road trip all the way around to scotland and just i love scotland so much and i said i want to go back to edinburgh because it's actually quite easy to get to and that's what we're doing so we're going as a family we've got doug and Amanda, obviously we've got these guys with us and we've all sort of taken over this area of the train we've got all our luggage over there I managed to fit mine and like the stuff into one suitcase i have woken up with a giant spot right in the middle of my eyebrow and it's really painful i might just vlog like this for the rest of the day <laughs> we're very happy bunny this morning considering she's teething and she has a cold well. But yeah, it was a bit of a mad rush this morning because Delilah decided that she was going to sleep for almost five hours. Delilah woke up from feed at four. I fed her and thought, right, she'll probably wake up at like five or six. So I won't set my alarm. She didn't wake up until nine. Luckily, I woke up at eight and thought, oh crap, I need to get up. Yeah, it was a little bit of a rush, but we made it. We're on the train and um, yeah, we've got to go up to London and then from London go from King's Cross to Edinburgh. Please ensure you keep all your belongings with you and keep them with you at all times. If you can see any unattended or suspicious signs, allow me. Here we go. Time to tackle the tube. This station is Morgan. Change here for Circle, Amherstburg City, and Metropolitan Line, and National Rail Service. <laughs> this little one's doing alright. This is a northern line. You're quite happy, aren't you? Hi, <laughs> bye. We've made it to King's Cross. Suit has been bought for the five hour train journey. Dog's got his flat white, I've got my cappuccino. We're all just waiting to go to our platform now. And this little one's had a bit of a crying session, haven't you? Look at those rosy cheeks. Yeah, look at those rosy cheeks. Yeah. So we've had to get her out. She's having a little cuddle with daddy. I've given her some cow pole and hopefully she should have a nice nice sleep on the train so this just happened that i just dropped doug's flat white and it is all over me we were having such a good morning damn it first thing we're gonna do is wash my clothes when we get there <laughs> made it onto the train now just to survive the five hour train journey with this little one he's looking rather adorable right now i'm freezing so i've had to take my my thermal top off and my other top off and i've just pulled this out of the suitcase and this will have to do for now until we get to the airbnb and i'm hoping well there will be a washing machine i hope um, and luckily i packed a little bit of washing powder and detergent and a pot of vanish so hopefully i can get the coffee out of my uh, my top to whilst delilah's being good i'm gonna sit and try and get these last vlogmas videos edited been on the train for about 40 minutes we stopped in the middle of nowhere we like suddenly smelt burning plastic and then we just stopped and now we don't know what's going on uh, apparently they are fault finding with the train so they've not actually told us what's wrong i don't know if anyone knows what's wrong but yeah we're stuck here we're feeding <coughs> feeding delilah and hopefully she'll sleep for a little bit she started to get cranky and we've still got another four hours to go um so i'm sat here feeding her and and doing some editing <laughs> Hello. So I've almost finished editing the second to last vlogmas. I reckon I could probably get the last vlogmas, which is Christmas Day, edited as well. Oh, oh, oh.
We have gone from down here, past London, Cambridge, and we are now just gone past New York. And we still have all the way up here to go, and then we'll be in Edinburgh. It's about five, well, it's five past two now, so we've still got a couple of hours to go. hours I've had enough we've arrived and we just need to find a taxi to get us to our Airbnb that was so stressful getting here but we're here and this place is so nice we've got an Airbnb uh, we've got two Airbnbs one for me Doug Delilah Doug's twin sister, her fiance, and Doug and Melissa's little brother. And then in the other Airbnb, we've got Doug's godfather, his partner, and then Doug's mum and dad who are arriving tonight or tomorrow? Tonight. Tonight. So yeah, this is our room. I'll give you the grand tour at another point. Everything's still a bit chaotic. We've got to settle in and figure out what we're going to do for dinner and things. It's about half past five now, so it's not too late. But before I do anything, I am going to wash that t-shirt I spilled coffee all over this morning. Almost finished unpacking. I just got a few more bits left here on the bed to unpack. I absolutely love my new uh my new toothbrush because look at this travel case i get to use the travel case for the first time it's so doody i love it i mentioned it in my november favorites and the travel case is just so nice because my other one didn't have a travel case so i always used to have to just put it in my toiletries bag which probably wasn't the most hygienic also this little bit here means you can plug it into your laptop and charge uh your toothbrush on the go but yeah so i'm just finishing off doing um a few bits of unpacking and then there's talks of getting takeout and just staying in or at least Doug and I want to stay in because it's almost Delilah's bedtime so it'll be really nice to get the travel cot up get her into bed have some dinner and relax because it's been a long day just these bits to pop into the bathroom and then I'm done I'll quickly give you a tour of our room so this is the door that you come through um, and then as you walk in it looks like this we have a bed there we don't have a wardrobe, but we do have a chest of drawers, so I've just popped our stuff in there. Dog's bag, I'm pretty sure, is left down there. He said he's not going to unpack, he's just going to live out of that. Um, but it's quite impractical to do when you've got both babies' clothes and your clothes together. So I've just unpacked, so I can just pop my suitcase there and not have to touch it until we leave. Popped coats and snowsuits. <laughs> Delilah's snowsuit looks so funny up there. We've got a mirror over there. I've set up a makeshift nappy changing station over here with some nappies um, in here um, so hopefully that will do her and this is our bed and we're hoping to fit the travel cot here so I'll sleep on this side of the bed so I can feed her when she wakes up Edinburgh there's just such gorgeous buildings and there's gorgeous buildings in our, in our hometown as well we're just not fortunate enough to be able to afford to live in one of those places in our hometown but it's got lovely big windows can't really see if you you can see out onto the street here so yeah there's lots of big windows around here and just hopping out of the taxi onto this street just reminds me why i love edinburgh so much i mean london and kent and to be honest lots of places in england have beautiful buildings but there's just something about edinburgh that i just love and i just want to live in this place it's so nice and this is our bathroom we've got a lovely big bath here oh, i wish i'd bought a big bath bomb or something to have a bath and then yeah it's just a just got your usual thing a toilet <laughs> and a lovely big sink i've already popped a couple of my stuff here i've got my cleanser got my face wash for the morning and i'm just gonna pop my stuff into this drawer travel cot up i don't know how i'm gonna put her into this without her waking up and screaming every time Well, that was really easy. 
she woke up when I went to put her in, but then she just put her head to the side and went to sleep. She's getting a lot better at just going to sleep by herself. Yeah, she's in bed. We bought the monitor with us, but she seems to be fast asleep. We've bought the iPad to have the white noise on. Melissa and Ben are cooking. They've just gone to the shops to get some food. So they're cooking dinner. It's gonna be my bedtime in like an hour. Um, but yeah, so Delilah's in bed and now I can have a glass of wine. Finally got some dinner, I'm so hungry. I'm being made to watch Ice Age. So good to take my makeup off after such a long day. I'm vlogging in the bathroom because um, like I'm comfortable vlogging around Doug and his siblings, but um like I just feel a bit awkward vlogging around his godfather and and whatnot because I just don't know them that well and it's just awkward and but also but also not everyone wants to be in the vlogs so the evening part of these vlogs might be a little bit quiet just for that reason but i hope you enjoyed day one of the edible vlogs i'm gonna go to bed now and try and get out of my clothes in the bedroom without waking Delilah up i'm whispering because the bedroom's right next door and i will see you guys tomorrow